the good life full of fun seems to be the hey guys idea. welcome to my kitchen another exciting day in my kitchen what kitchen are we in today i'll tell you where we are we're in vico del gargano italy it's in my villa where vito and joe's extra virgin olive oil come from actually in fact if you look right behind me there's a big tank of it all right there our goal is to have five gallons of it while we're here for the next three weeks but uh <laughs> But in any case, uh, welcome to my home. It's a different kitchen. Please forgive me on the lighting and the sound if it's a little off. Uh, it's, a, it's a different setup. We don't have all our professional gear that we do back in, uh, back in the States. But I want to share with you a beautiful recipe, uh, something that I had when I was a kid. My grandmother, Nana, used to make it. it was, it's absolutely delicious. And uh, something that I have here every year traditionally uh, as we pick our flowers right from the, uh, right from the garden. And that's zucchini blossoms or zucchini flowers. Now there's many different ways to make them. You can make them fried with breading. You can make them uh, like in a, in a fritter. Um, I've had them all different ways. I'm gonna share with you my favorite way to make it. It's a phenomenal, easy, simple recipe and it's just fantastic. So let me go over some ingredients with you. I made a request to our caretakers here, Luigi and Giuseppe, and I said, hey, could you give me some zucchini Fiori. And he said, yes, no problem. So this morning when I was setting up the kitchen, I get this big crate of zucchini flowers. So just a couple of quick things on zucchini flowers. Not all blossoms turn into zucchinis. In fact, well over half of the blossoms do not turn into zucchinis. And for those of you that maybe want to go pick some of your own or just for the sake of discussion, you're going to see the long stem is going to be a flower. Um, typically a very short stem would be uh, most likely turned into a zucchini and the zucchini grows right here right at the base right at the base of the flower okay isn't that beautiful so uh, in this case all these were freshly picked this morning so they're a little bit easier to work with sometimes what will happen is uh, as the time goes on they tend to constrict and dry into each other so they're a little tougher to stuff we're going to use an espresso spoon to stuff it with our cheese okay however um, you can use a, uh, a pastry bag and then just take the pastry bag, thin down your cheese mixture a little bit in this case with maybe a little milk or heavy cream and then you can pipe it right into the zucchini flour. It's another way to do it. It works phenomenal. I've done it that way many times if I'm going to use a ricotta, a ricotta cheese, okay? But in this case, we're going to stuff them with uh, a couple of cheeses that are local to the area, okay? Along with a little bean, an egg, some salt, pepper. So I'm going to go over those ingredients. So first off, we're going to need about two dozen zucchini flowers, okay, and I'll show you how to prep those real easy, all right? We're gonna do one cup of a buffalo mozzarella, okay? So if you can get the buffalo mozzarella, great. If not, uh, you can't, but we're gonna about what, one cup, give or take, of the of the mozzarella, okay? Now this one I've got is a ca Cacio Cavallo cheese, which is, uh, is um, this area's region is known for this cheese. Essentially, it's a, it's a mozzarella, but it's aged, so they'll make a um, like a, a mozzarella and they'll brine it in a salt uh, solution for maybe about a month to three months, and then they pull it out and they'll dry age it for a minimum of six months. I really like the age of about 18 months or longer. That to me is is multiple. Okay. Now in this case we've got one egg. Okay. We got one egg, and I'm going to use some prosciutto. Now I took two and a half slices of prosciutto and I diced it. To make it really really small because again we're putting them into a zucchini flour and what we want to do is we want to add a beautiful kind of a salty um a pork you know that that background flavor but i don't want a big piece to where it's overtaking it obviously vito and joe's olive oil i already talked about that guys you can get this right i don't have the label bottle that's back in the united states this is the stuff coming right from our our jugs here but uh, that we leave here when we visit uh, but you can get that right on amazon if you go to Amazon, punch in Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil, you can get it right on Facebook and click buy now. You can grab yourself a bottle, it comes in a small, large bottle. And it's, it's truly having a bottle of Italy right in your own kitchen. I mean, it, it's absolutely delicious. Old Liari variety of olives, it's earthy, it's, it's peppery, uh, and it's, uh, it's got that grassy, you know, herb flavor, man, it is, it is awesome. So, so let's get started. Number one, and the, probably the most time consuming of anything is prepping the zucchini flour. Okay, so I'm going to take a cast iron pan, I'm going to get some oil in it, um, probably going to use at least a half a cup to a cup of oil, and I'm going to get that at a nice simmer, okay, is what I want now, and then I'll turn it up a little bit to fry them. 
And then when you get the when you get the zucchini flower, when they're picked right from the uh, when they're picked right from the garden, let me grab one here. Um, let me just show you real quick how to prep the flower. So you see the spine. So real easy. All you're going to do is you're going to pull the spine, the spines off the flower. They're very delicate, so take your time. So I'm going to pull the spines out, okay? And then the stem here, I don't like a lot of stem, so I'm going to cut that down to about a half inch to an inch of stem, okay? And then gently you're going to open the flower. You don't have to tear the flower. You just want to open the flower, make sure it's clean and there's no bugs is what you want to look for. And you just give it a quick blow and then just give it a shake and I'm just going to set it off to the side. Now that's prepped. That's prepped for um, filling with cheese, okay? So that's what we're going to do to, to get these going, okay? Now while that's happening, if you're lucky enough to have somebody helping you in the kitchen, which I don't today, then I'm going to, I'm going to take our, our mixture. So I'm going to take our mozzarella, okay? Or mozzarella, okay? Depending on whether you're from upstate New York, or whether you're from Brooklyn. And again, I'm going to take about a cup of Cacio Cavallo. If you don't have Cacio Cavallo, Parmesan makes a really nice substitute. I've got my egg in there, okay? Give that a quick mix. Just so I want to always mix an egg before I mix it in something, just to ensure. I'll tell you, the eggs in Italy, they're fantastic. They're nice and bright orange. The flavor, you know, everything's free range and, and just absolutely delicious. And then I'm going to throw in my prosciutto, okay? And then I'm going to basically just mix that in. Now the prosciutto already has salt in it, and so does the cacio cavallo, okay? So I'm going to put a couple of grinds of pepper, and I'm going to put a splash of Vito and Joe's olive oil, okay? Did I mention you can get that on Amazon? Didn't know if I said that earlier. I'm going to mix that, stir that. Do I have a smile on my face because I'm loving life today. I'll tell you, I'm a very blessed man. So I'm going to set that down here. Now I've got my cheese. I've got my zucchini fiori or zucchini flowers. And real simple, I'm just going to blow on that flower. See how she opens right up? Right? So just pull back a little. Flower's clean. Then I'm going to take a scoop. Okay? And I'm just going to get inside the flower. See how it just falls right in. And you can use a little bit of the edge of the flower just to get it in there. That's it. You're feeding the flower. Sometimes they don't want it. It's like feeding an infant. You know, you've got to stick it in there. That's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stuff the rest of these, all right? And then we're going to meet you right over the fry pan. I'll show you exactly how to fry. I'll just do a couple so you can see what they're like. And after which we're going to plate it, take a couple pictures. Favorite part, mangiare. We're going to eat it. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to pop those right in the pan, okay? And you see they're just starting to fry. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to about three minutes on each side. And you want to be really delicate, so I use a large spoon and a fork to just gently turn them once. Let you play around with them better, then take a piece of uh, a paper towel and just gently set. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. And you can see, all right, so I'm just going to take the spoon, really, really delicate. Now the general rule is the back of the flower, the heel of the flower, right here, that's what you want to be tender. When that's tender, the, the flower's done, okay? It's been a couple of minutes here, so what I'm going to do is just gently with the spoon, pull across, get the oil off, okay? And remember, the front is delicate, right? So just get the oil off. We're going to set it right on a paper towel. How beautiful is that? Man, bon appetito. Okay guys, my favorite part. So I usually serve it just like that on a plate, uh, just like my grandmother used to do, with some paper towels. I don't salt, I don't cheese, I don't do anything, okay? So a lot of times you can use a fork, you know, if you want to be civilized. We're not going to be so civilized, so I'm going to throw it in. Mmm! Mmm! Cacio Cavallo cheese with the mozzarella is just perfect. You got that salty background flavor, just a hint with the prosciutto, right? You got the olive oil, you can taste it from where you fried it with the mix. You got the egg within the cheese. Oh my God, so delicious. Man, you know, a little white wine, 
chilled with a peach shoved in there, right? Oh, just sipping, taking a look at the sea, enjoying the day. Listening to some Frank Sinatra in the background, I, just gotta, I don't think that life could get any better than that, right? Being surrounded by family and loved ones, no doubt. Guys, thanks for joining me in the kitchen that I love in Vico del Gargano, Italy. We've got five more recipes coming. They're going to be great, all recipes from this region, so make sure you stay tuned in. Make sure you get your family a bottle of, uh, of Italy, right for their own kitchen. Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You can grab it right on Amazon or Facebook or certainly on our website, Cooking Italian with Joe. Guys, spend some time with your family. Celebrate your heritage. Set some new traditions. Have some fun in the kitchen. Buy a bottle of olive oil. Until next week, guys. Mwah! Bon appetito! Full of fun seems to be the 